Well, I'm Russ's assistant, Miranda, and we both work at the same place. Yeah, and I'm the boss. I'm, I play Gil. I'm uh, Russ's boss, and I guess Miranda's boss, too. <laughs> um, yeah. We work at, like, some uh, design... A, a design company. Yeah. For like a surf, surfwear. Mm-hmm. Surfwear and surfboards. So you're, are you guys like there to support Russ or are you guys there to like make his life a little crazy? Oh, I'm there to support Russ, obviously. I'm his assistant, so yeah. I try and make his life easy. And I um, unknowingly make his life very hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not all there. I'm missing a few marbles, I'd say. Not missing a few marbles. I just don't understand the uh, emotional aspect of the workplace so I'm all business um, uh, it once I kind of locked into it it was a little bit easier but it took it took some finagling you know, finagling finagling you know that classic word <laughs> from the 1700s <laughs> you know I'm honestly very similar to Miranda I'd say um, so it's relatively easy and not is super easy to get along with so I think that kind of helps in the whole dynamic of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's just a weirdo. I'm just a weirdo. So I think that's really, pretty easy, too. Yeah, it's pretty to easy. To slip into. Yeah. All I have to do <laughs> is just, like, kind of harness my other weirdness. <laughs> and then it's very, it's, it's very simple. Yeah. Very different from Brooke. Oh, yeah. Very different. I mean, like, Brooke is pretty much universally disliked. And, uh, and I think Miranda is at least received by other people. <laughs> Miranda's a very sweet kid. Thank you, thank you. I think Brooke is too, but she's just misunderstood. <laughs> Don't understand the basic concept of having a female friend who isn't more than just a friend. And so every interaction I have with Russ is trying to not only like figure out the workplace, but also figure out like his home space and his place with Miranda. So I feel like I invade and uh, especially in the first few episodes, I, I don't understand why he needs a vacation with his kids. And so he kind of has to convince me of those like emotional aspects as to like, why he can't work all the time, why he has to go home at night. So I, I affect it a lot. <laughs> Without giving away too much, uh, I have employed uh, Russ to fire someone and it's someone he does not want to fire. So um, when I come back and that person hasn't been fired, I am um, very confused. And I kind of <laughs> alert him to some sort of, some kind of like shenanigans that this character is getting into. Yeah. Some work inappropriate shenanigans. Yes. About becoming part of this cast, I mean, what's it been like to work with like Nat Baxton and John Hodgman and-, and Awesome. Um, terrible. <laughs> Off the record, um, I've been a fan of uh, Nats for a long time, uh, his writing career certainly, and uh, I uh, get it, being able to come on the set, like Judy Greer, Brett Kelman, Jenny Slate, all of these people are people that I look up to, uh, and, and have certainly seen myself in the same rooms, but never been able to say hello so it's like it's that kind of thing where it's like oh now I have an excuse to at least say hello <laughs> so it's been awesome it's really good. yeah and I have I don't know I have nothing but great things to say about every person that I've worked with here <laughs> except for this guy I hate him he sucks don't She's tell anyone <laughs> yeah I don't know they're awesome everyone's yeah. like really cool and sweet this is the most I think realistic version of two people in a marriage who have three kids and are in the place where it's like the weight of their relationship is not as heavy as the weight of where they are in life, you know. And uh, you don't see that very often. A lot of the t- a lot of the times you see uh, a couple who comes home, they're like, "Oh, I'm so happy to be with you at the end of the night." And so much of this show is like, "We'll just talk about it tomorrow." <laughs> and, and that's that's how real relationships are when you're when you're in the thick of it. So it's to me, it's like the most revealing. Um, uh, example of a marriage on TV and it kind of makes me a little bit nervous but also excited it's like oh I don't have to expect a fairy tale I can kind of expect a real world version yeah yeah same I mean like I I obviously have no idea what a marriage is like but um, I I would say that it's a little frightening but I, I think also like pretty much realistic 
Um, so I guess definitely exactly what you said. <laughs> he had a great answer, and I'm just like piggybacking. <laughs> so I'm playing is someone who we can kind of both talk about because I think everybody's known someone who's just not emotionally there as much as they are in terms of like being able to do tasks and see projects. So it's it's less like what because of what we're doing, we're the assistant and the boss. Um, it's less the relationship and less the emotional and more of the like. I guess with you, it's more. Yeah, it's we have like a nice little like yeah. friendship there, but. Yeah. I, I guess he kind of did, you know, because you guys explore like the idea of having a friend who's just a friend regardless of sex. And yeah. I mean, sex of the person. Yeah. And sex in general. <laughs> is he a good boss? Uh, yeah, I'd say he's a good boss. He's sweet. He's he's like nice to me and he treats me well and like, you know, doesn't do anything. I mean, he hands you off in one episode, doesn't he? At the bar? Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Whoops. I mean, like, that was. But then it ended up being. But then it ended up being kind of like yeah. a fun story for me. Very good. Like, yeah. I went with it. You know, so I guess in that way he wasn't a very good boss or a friend, really. Um, but he taught you a life lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Never trust him. Yeah, that's that is true. So, yeah, he's mediocre. <laughs> mediocre. Ma- Ma's a menace. He's yeah. like, all right. I would also agree, mediocre. <laughs> We're talking Neither about Matt, there. right? Yeah. <laughs> as a person. Right? Matt as a person is mediocre. <laughs> he's like uh, warm milk. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look 26 for like a day. <laughs> or just a mustache. Yeah. Oh, just a mustache. With, but you have to like curl the ends. Oh, put it put it up like that. Yeah. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that looks good. Just do that. Shave the rest off. I want to look 26, <laughs> not like from 1926. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Actually, those look pretty cool. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to try and film the next scene. Yeah, just walk in with it and see. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, anybody, could we get, does anyone, I wonder hmm, if let me know. think about this. <laughs> hmm. um, I would love, I actually should, I think when I shave it, I'll, I'll keep one day of like a dastardly dam. <laughs> Why are you yeah. shaving it? What? Why are you shaving it? Uh, reasons unknown. Oh, okay. I'm going back to my home planet. <laughs> and they don't allow beards. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, it's a very conservative planet. <laughs> um, no, I just want to shave. Okay. Time for change. Well, work environments have been described sometimes like where an assistant works for bosses, being like the work wife. What would make then your character be in that situation? Mm. Um, I would, I guess I kind of am the work mistress <laughs> because I'm keeping him from his family all the time. And I'm always wanting his attention over his family. So I guess I am the mistress, aren't I? Yeah, and I pay him, so it's like a really weird mistress. <laughs> I guess he's a prostitute. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, right? Yeah, yeah I, guess no, I see where you're I at. pay him. So maybe, yeah, maybe he's a prostitute. Yeah. So I'd say mistress. I'm going to stay with mistress. With a tinge of prostitute. <laughs> Um, what about you? Oh, for me? Well, I'm the work wife, right? Or I'm... Yeah. Yeah. I'm the work... I think aunt. I am the work... I'd say I'm the work mistress. Or the work John. Because I'm always making him do work. So does the work mistress and work wife then have, like, you know, fighting time over who gets time with him at the office? <laughs> um, I, I think the work mistress wants to have something yeah. with the work wife in the show, right? Yeah. In that one episode. Yeah, I mean, sort of. <laughs> You have like a, you have like a you don't weird have to defa- kind of I mean, I don't care. reaction <laughs> to it. Yeah, that's true. You send me off. Yeah. You don't well, really want me, you want the idea. Yeah, me. yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm still, it's it's like a work mistress who has no emotional capacity. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like a really good mistress. I just felt like those intimate moments between Nat and Judy were so real. And it drew me so close to those characters that you kind of, they're like, funny joking around but kind of serious digs at each other felt like a real like 10 12 year relationship and that that's what instantly drew me in other than Andrew creating it and I know he's so smart and so good um favorite scene was 
Um, I think it's the second to last episode when Gelman is leaving his, Brett Gelman's character is leaving his firm and they go into the, um, he and his assistant are in the back of the diner and everyone's like, come on, you have to go to rehab. And he's like, no. And then the assistant says something along the lines of like, we had sex twice, twice. And he's like, we did. And he's like, was I good? And she's like, one of the times. That's, <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. That was one of the funniest. Because that means there's one time where he was off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that that to me, I, I really like it. this show blew me away. I, I thought it was so good. And that scene was so funny. Yeah. I mean, I've only seen a few episodes of it, but I just like, I'm mainly drawn to like Nat and Judy's dynamic because I think it's like, it's such a real, like it feels like they have been married for yeah. so long. And like, you know, they have like a cute, they're like kind of adorable together, but yeah, also totally. like, you know, there's the struggles of like married life, you know, kind of in there. So it's just like, I don't know. I, I just like love watching them together. They're so funny. And then Jenny Slate is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're exactly like that. Yeah. They're children together. <laughs> it's really fun to watch. It's really, really fun to watch. They're kids. Yeah. They're just kids. They're like adult kids. <laughs> adult babies. <laughs> adult babies. <laughs> That's Maybe the not. title of my book. <laughs> adult baby. Bearded toddler. <laughs> We, we played our, that one scene, that was super fun. The one at the bar. Oh my gosh, that was super you fun. were killing me. I was being a weirdo. Um, <laughs> as soon as I stepped onto the set, I just kind of got the sense that it was just a playful set. Mm-hmm, so, and that's like the biggest, you know, sigh of relief when you, you can feel that like, they're not super married to the script or anything. I mean, you can like, just really make it your own and play with it and be there with someone versus like, I have to get, everywhere right you know right right I don't know. It, it helps with character to be able to yeah. be a little loose um, especially when you you're get playing more you get more fun more. like real moments yeah definitely I don't know. yeah so. you, anytime you catch anyone off guard and then they say something that they weren't going to say that's when you get something just like that just like that <laughs> <laughs> right there. 